Hey guys, this is going to be your new moon in Cancer total solar eclipse. Okay, now this is going to be happening in Hawaii on July 2nd at 9.16 a.m. in the morning, followed up by the total solar eclipse at 9.23 a.m., so it's shortly after. And this is basically a total eclipse of the heart. Where are you committing yourself? You deserve it. No one deserves this more than you and just deserves. Okay. Now this eclipse is at a new moon. So it's bringing something wonderful in. It's going to be at 10 degrees in Cancer. And this will affect most people within 5 to 15 degrees of cardinal signs. This is a rough, <laughs> this is a rough, um, estimate okay the cardinal signs are cancer libra capricorn and aries so if you have any planets in this sign in between 5 and 15 degrees this will touch you in more than one way so touching <laughs> anyways this is about new fears new sensitivities nurturing protection securities your home your home security system reservations uh also like hotel reservations too it could be a trip because there's a lot of love too new cares concerns worries um empathies sympathies new feelings <clears throat> it's also about a new trust in more than one way new receiving it's babies home and family reception receptivity memories new memories okay new possessions new roots new growth new love new store new breast <laughs> new stomach new support system new help okay new aid new assistant or new assistance and where did i get that from new green and silver so that could be money okay new shell new coverings new sea animals with shell coverings like the sea snail okay um new system of support new structure a new build or a slow build and also build up like plaque in the arteries or a new plaque um this is to certify that so and so is the honorary blankety blank um it's also new establishment okay so this is new ideas about who what or where home is new security in the home um new family protection okay new roots pregnancy and the security is emotional mental physical it's about home financial spiritual and possession okay so the full moon in cancer follow-up is going to be in 20 degrees on january 10th uh 2020 at 9 21 a.m whatever changes you begin developing now at this new moon will come to cul culmination fruition balance harmony or will be ending by the full moon this is also a follow-up from the new moon slash partial solar eclipse at 20 degrees cancer back on july 12 2018 okay um that time there was a purge because it was a full moon but it's connected this full moon in cancer is at 20 the last one was at 20 so it's almost like the same thing will be happening this is a u-turn a reverse a try again <laughs> i have a feeling that when this was happening last year there was something that interrupted it okay so it's like picking up the pieces and beginning again making a fresh start after a period of waiting hanging in the balance this week we entered the seventh month which is the 19th universal month 19 also equals 10 or 1 okay so seven is about heaven and hell it's partnership and relationships it's also enlightenment awakenings and destruction it can be psychic downloads uh awakenings or intuitive aha moments it's also wisdom and harmony 19 10 and 1 are about beginnings and endings completion of a cycle and new growth it's new beginnings and instant manifestation so this could be in regards to a new project or the laying or building of some kind of new foundation this month okay it's also about expression self-reliance and confidence in the self 
and an end to a codependency where there is an individual soul growth and forward movement into something new. This month is about sudden endings and beginnings, arrivals and departures, and surprises and gifts of all kind. At this current time, we have Chiron in Aries, Uranus in Taurus, Venus in Gemini. We have the Sun, the Moon, and the North Node in Cancer. We have Mars and Mercury in Leo, Jupiter retrograde in Sagittarius, and Saturn retrograde, Pluto retrograde, and the South Node in Capricorn, followed by Neptune and Black Moon Lilith in Pisces. Now, we have a variety of assisting transits. We have Mars entering Leo. Okay, so... People are drawn to you. Mars is action. Mars is drive. Leo is fire. So you're ready to go. It's also very passionate to fire and fire. There's sparks. Okay. <laughs> so this could be sparks in a bunch of different ways. You know, it's up to you. It depends where this falls, where Mars entering Leo, Mars and Leo falls in your house. But all in all, it's competition and you want to win. Okay. You're going for it, going for the gold. On the flip side, that could be fighting with the family or loved ones because you got an ego. Okay, then we have the sun conjuncting the moon, which is uh, the eclipse. <laughs> no, uh, no need to explain. Self-explanatory. Okay, it's about your personality, deep-rooted habits, uh, fixing your needs, and figuring out what do you need to do and what do you need in order to fix things. This is like damage control. Then we have the moon conjuncting the north node a little bit later in the day, okay, because in Hawaii, this is happening at 9 a.m. in the morning. So later on in the afternoon, as the moon moves through and gets to 17 degrees, it conjuncts with the north node. And you need to leave the past behind, okay? It's time to change things up and move into something new. Find a new standing, placement, a footing, or some new route, something that you're going to commit to in order to establish yourself in some kind of way. No more wishy-washy. It's time to make choices and get some solid footing down, okay? Let's see, what else do we have? Mm, the, and then the next day, because like I said, we are in Hawaii, so this takes place in the morning. The very next day, it could be, I don't know what time, could be shortly after midnight, the moon moves elsewhere, moves into Leo, and then we have the moon and, excuse me, the moon, Mars and Mercury conjuncting the moon. That's three M's. <laughs> Mars and Mercury conjuncting the moon. So it's time to get moving for sure. You're going to have the courage. You're going to be really lively. You're going to be ready and driven. You're pretty smart, okay, sensitive, and your, imagine is, your imagination is going to be boosted. And then we also have Venus entering Cancer. Romantic, sensitive, um, making sure your needs are taken care of before you join somebody else, before you move in, before you commit to the relationship. Make sure that you're all good before you have to give your energy to someone else, okay, through a commitment. Also, too, it's people will be admiring you and loving you. Um, let's see. You, you're going to be pursued by people that love you. In fact, they might be like overly possessive. They might be hanging on to you. This might be a third wheel or this might be your lover smothering you or proudly showing you off saying, yeah, that's my chick. <laughs> um, you like to be at home too for that. You like to be surrounded by beautiful things. And you could be remembering way back when, when you were a kid, mom used to do this. So... I want to incorporate that in what I'm doing now or you know mom had mom always had red oven mitts uh, hanging hanging on a hook next to the stove I think I'm gonna buy a little hook so I can do the same thing because I miss that I really love that kind of deal right okay so I'm gonna read you straight from the horoscope Tuesday, we have a new moon in Cancer. This is a total solar eclipse with the moon conjuncting the sun. This will bring attention to a new root or security, whether in family or love or business. This is about putting down roots and making sure your family is safe and secured, whether it's financially, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, and physically home. This is also a time when people will be getting what they deserve, good or bad, with the Capricorn conjunction opposing it. You could be hearing phrases like, 
you deserve this or he deserves that or they got what they deserved and just desserts <laughs> you could put your trust in someone new or place newly earned trust in someone or you could literally be working with a new financial property or inheritance trust okay the physical trust now this is also a time to plant some seeds major ones because this is eclipse energy your path has been or is being clear to bring in something new that you will benefit from as long as you go with the flow and do not resist there's an exorbitant potential for growth from this point on and you are on to the major task of designing who what or where home is and what it's going to look like it's time to take a look at exactly what you need not what you want what you need and to also acknowledge what needs to be fixed or changed and what to do about it maybe some therapy estate planning help a negotiator a mediator real estate agent in any case you're gonna have to have some kind of assistance to get things back in control or under control maybe your debt is too high and you need to seek the help of a financial planner any kind of consultant a tax attorney or you may need couples therapy how about rehab or hypnotism to conquer smoking? <laughs> Whatever it is, you need to speak up, okay? Because you're going to have support. You're going to have the assistance that you need. There's people there that are going to nurture and mother you just like you deserve. So come on, say it. I need help. Or help me. All right. The hardest part is over. At any rate, you can't go back. You are growing older. In fact, with the Pluto, Saturn, South Node, retrograde, all in Capricorn that's opposing this eclipse, you're getting way too old for this shit, okay? <laughs> time to get settled or to settle things up, but it's not a time to settle. You need to ask for what you need. This is a time of ideas and planning, okay? So throw them out so you can get a clearer picture and map out your future. You should be more than okay with any changes, okay, because you realize or you've acknowledged that you need some kind of new standing, new placement, footing, roots, or new standards in order to establish yourself in some way. If, and I mean if, you fight with somebody or you fight somebody who wants to leave or you leave things or leave needs undone or unanswered, you could experience a lesson of sacrifice in addition to your personal karma. Okay, so numbers for this day of the solar eclipse, we have 2, 21, 19, excuse me, I lied, 10, 10, 17, 17. So there's a completion of a closeout. Things are going to come together. You're going to work together in creating harmony by closing out a cycle, and your wishes just may come true, but you have to express what you've realized. Okay, so the moon in Cancer, this is imaginative sympathetic protective tenacious nurturing loyal devoted patient sensitive romantic intuitive um, very strong emotions you're more receptive than active and there's excellence in artistic or literary uh, pursuits you're able to work best at your own pace unrestricted by time your memory is awesome you're very refined delicate delicate and gentle um, you can appear aggressive but you're truly vulnerable under the surface shadow side is you can let your feelings fester you could be moody you could sulk into quiet self-pity victim mentality uh, good news is you do quickly shift in temperament although you could get tired from feeling so much okay in committed relationships you're at your best but also at the same time you don't really trust love okay and you feel like you don't deserve to be loved so cancer is the fourth house this is the house excuse the house <laughs> this is the house of home <laughs> the fourth house is all about home early and later emotional security its family roots conditions in your old age, your home, attitudes towards family, the ability to nurture people emotionally. It's valuing yourself and believing you deserve love. It's real estate, land, agriculture, uh, agriculture, gardening, the father, country of birth, mines, graves, underground places like subways and caves. It's unconscious motivations usually passed from the father. It's quite possibly genetics and ancestors.
Okay, sorry about that. I had to leave for a minute. Okay, so Cancer is ruled by the moon, which represents emotions, water, reflection, dreams, subconscious, comfort zone, your needs, your sense of security, your instincts, your roots, the mother, receptivity, and nurturing. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Aries, this is, this is going to be in your 10th house of career and public standing, personal status, goals, fame, success, achievement, public image, excuse me, uh, ow, and your energy is going to be directed to creative channels. There could be some new developments in career with the pressure to produce intense. There's a lot of action. It might be hard to keep track of things, okay? So try not to forget the details. Write things down. You want to be honestly represented in your personal life and in as a professional, okay? You want people to know exactly what you're capable of. You could be looking at your resume again, um, rewording it or brushing it up, okay? Because that could... There could be something in there that you could just rearrange that could make the difference in getting a better job or being looked at as a more leading competitor. Taurus, this is going to be in your 11th house of hopes, wishes, friends, social life, groups, and society. You have unshakable loyalty, strong passions, and you have the ability to capture the imagination of the public. Feelings could run high among close friends at this time, okay? And there's an intensity that's available that can renew the love and passion that first made you guys friends. It could be worth risking upset to get at what you're really feeling, okay? And share that with those that matter the most. And because everything's kind of crazy right now, you can probably say things that you haven't said before, okay? Tell them how you really feel and don't be attached to an outcome. The idea is to express it, okay? Open up and trust them with your feelings. And what happens is you might, you might end up making a friend or an ally that you didn't have before. You might get some new backup. Sorry about that. I was trying to figure out how to express that. Okay, Gemini, this is going to be in the 12th house of self-undoing, secrets, sorrow, secret dreams, endings, closure, healing, and spirituality. You have magnetic and daring intellect, and you have the ability to touch others' feelings at this time. You are going to have some eruptions of the unconscious and subconscious, okay? This could bring some troubles, but it could also bring personal revelations to the surface right now, okay? So you want to be careful not to say anything if you don't want people to know, okay? Mind your mouth. <laughs> Watch that filter or put. make sure you put a filter on it. Just be conscious. Or you may tell people a little too much, okay? There's something going on behind the scenes, and it's happening pretty fast. It's like things are coming down. Okay, but it's not necessarily the right thing to do. So make sure that you ha you give give things enough time before you make a final decision or take somebody's sides. Okay, even though it feels like if you do something behind the scenes, if you do something without somebody knowing, you might end up winning. But you know, the better part of valor is to be open. Okay, open covenants, openly arrived at, are the better part of honor. Cancer, this is going to be in your first house of self, personality, self-expression, first impression, your beginnings, your attitude. You are going to have intensity and depth of feeling, superb intuition, hypnotic power in any kind of creative works, okay? With you, Cancer, um, this, is, this is some personal beginnings, excuse me, my eyes itching, sorry guys. You're going to be in the stoplight, uh, in the stoplight. You're going to be in the spotlight, okay? You're going to be stepping up and displaying confidence in a new high prof profile situation. All eyes on you. Maximize any opportunity that you come across, okay? And you're going to want to look at your behaviors or your performance. If you need sleep, make sure you do. <laughs> get a lot of rest and drink a lot of water too on that note. Leo, this is going to be in your second house of material security, money and possessions, values, work, daily routines and environment. 
your energy is going to be directed towards creative channels okay so leo for a day or so you might be under the money pinch you need some money you need this to take care of that but and you can't do this until you have some money for that it's all now 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 everything is now okay don't be impulsive make sure you plan things out uh and round things out okay if you invest wisely you're going to get good returns in the next couple of weeks but watch your spending also if something is hot you need to hop on it right away do your research and then strike virgo this is going to be in your third house of communications intellectual ability siblings friends neighbors and community you have unshakable loyalty strong passions the ability to capture the imagination of the public for you virgo it's action time okay there's a lot of communication people are trying to talk to you people are trying to come and see you they're sending you emails and text messages or this is you trying to get a hold of a lot of people and going to visit a lot of people yourself okay there's a lot of new ideas there's a lot of propositions proposals you need to decide and quickly move on okay and make wise choices everything is going to be a little confusing right now so don't go into that analysis uh, paralysis spin just decide and keep going okay you could also at this time be meeting some people who are in the same boat as you for so for you this is uh, new friends or strong personal connections. It's vibe tribe time, Virgo. Libra, this is going to be in your fourth house of home, early and later emotional security, family and roots. Okay. This is the fourth house moon in your fourth house. <laughs> so you're going to have magnetic and daring intellect and the ability to touch others' feelings. At home, there's going to be raised tensions. Um, you might be needing some space. You might feel like suddenly organizing and rearranging your room or just your personal space, okay? It, it's a good time to start home-related projects for that extra energy that you're feeling. And also, too, it's very important that you express your feelings to your loved ones so you guys can bond. But make sure everything is clear and that you're not misunderstood. You really want to feel comfortable and at home with someone, okay? And also, too, it's really hard to keep still for you at this time. <laughs> Okay, so if you need to go take a road trip, get out of the house to, together and do something, uh, get some fresh air, go, you know, put your feet in the grass, anything you can to ground out this uh, excessive energy. Or you could be working together on the projects that you're working on at home. Like, can you help me with this? Right? Doesn't hurt to ask. Scorpio, this is going to be in your fifth house of sex, creativity, enjoyment of life, resources, play, self-expression. There's going to be an intensity and depth of feeling. You have superb intuition and you have hypnotic power in creative works. For you, Scorpio, it's time to party. <laughs> Either find one or give one. Okay, you're going to be having fun. This is universal. Uh, oh, and it's the solar eclipse too. So this is the beginning of fun for you. Nice. It's going to involve children, or you may be playing like a child, or you just may, may want to be spontaneous, okay? There's so much inspiration. You could be feeling inspired. You could be the inspiration, okay? It's a good time to engage, but not be the des designated driver, okay? It's being safely irresponsible, <laughs> okay? So party up Sagittarius this is going to be in your sixth house of health and service responsibility organization you have energy and you're going to direct it into creative channels okay your strength and in intense resourcefulness and far-ranging interests are going to serve you very well it might be a good time to check your blood pressure if it's not elevated you're doing okay <laughs> okay Health matters? The answer is moderation. You may want to start something new health habit-wise. Make sure you do your research and make sure that this is reasonable, okay? Because it's got to be something that you're willing to stick with in order for it to work, right? Same with the workplace. You'll be cleaning house and starting fresh. So don't overexert yourself. Capricorn, this is going to be in your seventh house of marriage and partnership, relationships, and sharing. You will have unshakable loyalty and strong passions, and you have the ability to capture the imagination of the public. 
you, Capricorn, you're going to be finding a new partner or turning over a new leaf with an old one. There could be a flood of emotional uh, intensity that could change the direction of the partnership or the relationship, okay? Although overstated, the message is sincere and needs to be taken seriously. You can achieve a closer bond with this breakthrough that can occur now. Aquarius, this is going to be in your eighth house of death, regeneration, ability to deal with life, intimacy, sex, bonding, shared property and resources. You will have magnetic and daring intellect and the ability to touch others' feelings. You also, like Capricorn, will be turning over a new leaf, okay? You're going to be reworking and refurbishing things that you already have, taking pride in your belongings by preserving it or fixing it. Okay, so it sounds like you're going to be Mr. Fix-It or Mrs. Fix-It all around the house. Watch out for indulging. Don't spend too much. Take or buy what you need, but no more. Okay, don't take advantage and don't tap yourself out. Pisces, this is going to be in your ninth house of mental exploration, long-distance travel, philosophical beliefs, study, higher learning, ethics, moods, you're going to have intensity and depth of feeling, superb intuition, and hypnotic power in creative works. This is a great time for planning. It's a great time for ideas. And it's also a great time to change how you're viewing things for a perspective shift, okay? Right now, there's something that you're changing your mind about. So you need to establish some kind of pattern and then figure out the details later, okay? There could be a new publishing effort. There may be something you're hur you're trying to hurry up and finish in order to release, and they're well begun now, okay? It's, you're under some pressure. There's some kind of deadline, or it has to be done by a certain date, okay? But avoid making hasty commitments. Make sure you think about it first. Be very thoughtful, deliberate, and measured in your efforts. Never mind the temptation or the discouragement. Block that out the best you can. Okay. <laughs> so this is the general energy for the collective that's happening around this total solar eclipse in Cancer. Um, I love you guys, and I will be seeing you guys later. <laughs> Take care.